Hello everyone and welcome to Facts Base. Today we take a look at 5 weird things that live on trees. Trees provide energy for food chains. Trees can also act as a good habitat for most animals. There's something about living in trees that make arboreal creatures feel at home. Maybe it's the bushy feeling or their agile bodies. Or maybe it's simply fun living in trees as it seems. All in all, let's take a look at the strangest animals that live on trees. Tree Kangaroo have you ever seen a kangaroo? Well, if not, then you're missing out on a lot. Anyway, imagine a miniature version of a kangaroo. Now, picture that same miniature version living on trees. Weirdly enough, that's actually what a tree kangaroo looks like. The Dendrogallus motschiel is a marsupial adapted for the arboreal type of living. The macropods, family of the kangaroos and wallabies, were initially tree dwellers but later descended to the ground. The tree kangaroos present an interesting divergence in the evolution of the macropods. That's because they eventually ended up returning back to the trees. These species can be found in the Papua New Guinea, Australia, and Indonesia. Tarsier, a stare like no other animal, soft fur, and very long fingers, the patience and incredible timing skills to pounce on insects and even birds. Tarsiers are quite amazing for any animal lover. The most extraordinary feature about this creature that you will quickly see are the noticeable eyes. Each of these eyeballs measures around 16 millimeters in diameter, which is actually almost the size of the tarsier's entire brain. All in all, each millimeter is necessary since the tarsier is known to be a nocturnal animal. However, since the size of these eyes is so large, the tarsiers are not able to rotate them. Instead, they use their neck, which is able to rotate 180 degrees in either direction, pretty much like the owls. Tarsiers live in trees and can be found in Southeast Asia. They are currently facing extinction since tarsiers can only be found in one particular area. On top of that, one of the primary reasons for their decrease in population is the decrease in their natural habitat. Kinkajou this insanely adorable creature might look like a primate or even a ferret. Truth be told, it's neither of them. As a matter of fact, the kinkajou is more or less related to the raccoons. Yes, those notorious animals that you run into at your backyard once in a while have some relation with the cute kinkajou. The beauty of kinkajou is that they are the gentler version of the raccoons and way adorable. More importantly, some people actually consider them as pets. Potos flavus are mammals and can weigh about 3 to 7 pounds. Though they may look and sound like primates, kinkajou is actually a different kind of mammal. Some people refer to the kinkajou as honey bears since they are fond of raiding bee nests. They have a really long and skinny tongue that can easily swipe all of the honey from the beehive. Kinkajous can be found in Central and South America. Gennet Arguably among the cutest arboreal animals, the gennet is closely related to the cats. They actually carry some of the characteristics of the cats, for instance, retractable claws and insatiable hunting skill. The gennet hunts reptiles, small birds, and rodents. Anything that's small and quick, the gennet will instantly put its hunting skills to the test. Some people tend to sell the gennet as pets to the exotic market. However, before you decide to purchase this animal, remember that they are wilder than your average house cat. Therefore, you need to remember what you're about to get yourself into. All in all, they can be socialized with cats and dogs, but they will easily attack small animals. Pets like hamsters bring out the natural hunting instincts in gennets. You also need to know that it's not easy changing ownership of the gennet or rehoming this animal. They will result in very stressful behavior that will definitely also stress you out. The gennet is currently found in the Middle East, Europe, and some parts of Africa. Their scientific name is Gennetta. They are exceptionally good climbers and in most times will prefer living in trees when compared to the ground. However, due to the extreme loss of their natural habitat, the population of the gennet is slowly decreasing. Some, if not all species in the gennetta family are currently classified under near threatened, while others are classified as threatened in the IUCN red lists. Silky Anteater Adding to the list of weirdly but adorably cute arboreals is the silky anteater all the way from southern Mexico. The silky anteater, Cyclopes didactylus, is also nocturnal, hence making it hard to spot this animal. The silky anteater lives in trees and is exquisitely camouflaged with their environment. Their silky yellow fur makes the silky anteater blend easily with the texture and color of the fibrous seed masses, which is majorly produced by silk cotton trees. Most times during the day these adorable creatures rest amid clumps of tropical vines. They rarely exceed 300 grams in weight and have a general length of 17 inches. 
Thanks for watching.